Hi, Domenica here from EasySewingForBeginners.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make this super simple tutu. There's just a little bit of sewing in this tutorial today and you can even make it a no-sew tutu if you really want to, but I'll show you exactly how to do that in the tutorial today. Now, check the description box down below to find any links to the materials that you might need for this project and I'll even have a link to my free PDF project that you can download from my Craftsy store. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so to make one of these awesome tutus, you'll need six inch wide chul by the roll and you can usually get this in 25 or a 100 yard lengths. You'll need your length of crocheted headband to make a custom sized tutu or you can get the pre-made crocheted headbands. Now these things are available on eBay or Amazon or your craft supply stores. Uh, I'll put all the links that I can in the description box down below for you. You'll need a sewing machine and matching thread if you're making a custom sized tutu. You'll need a pair of scissors and you also need a piece of cardboard to make your um, cutting template for your tool and some clips to go with that as well. And don't forget to check out my tutu size guide and the formula for making a custom size tutu. The link will be in the description box down below or you'll find it on my website. So for the waistband of the tutu you can use these pre-made crocheted headbands, this is a, um, a child size so I find this size is suitable for children 0 to about 5, okay, but you can make um, a custom size as well so you can do this for a child of any age or even an adult. So I find what I do that works pretty well is I measure the waist around um, level with the hip bones um, and then I divide that measurement by 1.5 and that gives me the length that I need to cut the waistband at. So I know um, my daughter's waist for example is 20 inches and dividing 20 inches by 1.5 is just over 13 inches so I'm going to cut it just above just over 13 inches Okay, and then I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine, make sure that the right side of the crochet headband is on the inside when you put the ends together like so. Okay, and of course you can hand stitch this if you want by doing a back stitch um, a couple of times. I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine to secure those ends together. Okay, so I'm ready to sew the two ends together. I'm going to be using a triple stitch on my sewing machine and I find that my sewing machine likes to try and eat these crocheted headbands things so I'm going to actually stabilize it with just a little piece of um, computer paper, printer paper and I've got my walking foot on my sewing machine as well so um, if you have one of those I highly recommend using it. So I'm just going to do about a, a half inch seam allowance Okay, and put my press foot down. Okay, and what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go over just to the right of that and do my triple stitch again. Okay, so you should be able to just rip that paper off the back there. And then it'll just be a matter of trimming off your threads and trimming some of the loose bits off there, but not too close to your stitch line or else it will come undone. Okay, so now I'm ready to cut the tool to length. Uh, now I like to do this um, a quick and easy way by using a card template. Um, so the way I do this is I know that um, for my particular tutu, I want the length of it to be 10 inches long so I actually need to cut my strips into 20 inch strips and this will make sense a little bit later on if you don't um, quite get why I'm doing that. Okay so how I do is I've got two clips down the bottom here and I'm just going to try and hopefully my chill won't run away I'm just going to clip the chill and lining up the end of the chill with the bottom of the card there Okay, so the clips just stop the chill from slipping off. Okay. 
And so it's as simple as just winding the card around. So I know one full rotation um, back down to the bottom is one strip. Now I find that I use about six strips of tulle per one inch of waistband. So if you um, know the length of your waistband, um, so mine's 13 inches, so I times that by six, and that would tell me how many strips of tulle I would need to cut. Okay, and so I'm just going to finish that one off here, and just to demonstrate to you, I know my clips are at the bottom, so I know that's where I cut my tool off there okay and then you can simply just slot your scissors in there and then cut all the way through okay and you just do this for however many strips you need Okay, so now we're ready to put the tulle onto the crocheted waistband. So what I've got is I've um, put my waistband onto a little chair just to hold it nice and taut. That'll make it easier for when I'm putting the tulle on. So if you've got a bucket or a piece of card or something that you can do that with, it'll make it a lot easier for putting the tulle on. Okay, now I like to put my tulle on in strips of two. So I've actually got two strips here. I'm going to bunch it up in the middle and then I fold it in half like so. Okay, and then I'm going to poke it through. I'm just going to start, I like to start where the join is on the waistband so that'll be at the back. Uh, I'm going to go to the section where there's a more of a, a square at the bottom. Okay, and I'm going to poke the chill through the um, hole above that square there. Okay, I hope you can see that. So I'm going to poke it from the front and through in towards the back, like so. And I'm just going to pull it through enough so I can create a loop. Okay, so you can open it up there. And then I'm going to thread the rest of the chill through that loop and then pull it tight. All right. And then I'm going to repeat that again on the next square over. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for how to make this super simple tutu and you're inspired to go out and make one for a little girl that you know or maybe even make one for yourself. So don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below and subscribe to be kept up to date with all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.